Well, following yesterday's coyote incident in Niagara on the Lake, the Lincoln Humane Society sounding the alarm to residents on taking proper precautions in the event of a future encounter. Jason Guidola has more. In an act to save a woman and her small dog from a coyote, Tim Balasuk charged at the wild animal to fend off a potential attack. According to Executive Director Kevin Struban of the Lincoln Humane Society, it was an effective tactic. And even in this video yesterday that was online, we see the gentleman running after the coyote, and that was good behavior to dissuade that coyote. Struban says that if you're out for a walk, especially with your dog, that you should carry an umbrella in case of a coyote encounter. He says to use an open and close method to help startle the animal and avoid danger. Struban also says it's important not to do anything which would attract them in the first place, like keeping garbage containers which may contain food waste tightly sealed. For them to realize that the humans are not their friends, not there to be trusted, not there to, to hurt them, nothing like that. They just want to make it uncomfortable so that the coyotes move away. The Minister of Natural Resources and Forestry also added in a statement saying in part, the process through which coyotes lose their fear of people is after repeated access to human food sources. Struben says the coyote in the video is known as an eastern coyote, a common species in the Niagara region. Typically roaming in areas like here in Walker's Creek Park in St. Catharines, Debbie, who walks her dog Max often, says she sees them all across the area, in the park, the streets, and even in people's backyards. And then once we did see one just kind of walking across the street, Paperboy met him, Paperboy ran the other way, and they're, they're just, initially you don't even think that they're a coyote, it's just a dog without an owner, and then you look closer and you're like, oh yeah, so we've seen them just kind of running down these streets. Struben says residents can report sightings to the Humane Society or to your local municipality. So people have, are thinking that the dogs are gonna be eaten by the coyotes. They have no interest in that. They simply wanna eliminate competition in their area for food. In cases of an extreme event like attacking a human being, provincial and local officials will work together to remove the animal with the goal of relocating it to a sanctuary. Jason Guidola, CHCH News, Niagara.